Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks so much for joining me for another Friday. We're not doing a fun fold, we're doing a sampler today. So we're gonna take this eight by eight uh, display case and we're going to make a sampler, kind of shadow box kind of thing with it. And I got this at Michael's, I, there were three in a pack. You can get bigger, I'm going with the eight by eight and I know it's probably, it's got the glass in it. We're gonna put this aside, but we are gonna transform this into a piece of home decor that you're gonna love, I think. So um, I'll have all the measurements and everything I used. I'm using a lot of different products and I don't want you to feel overwhelmed, like, oh my goodness, I have to spend a fortune to make this. Um, look around in your stash. If there's something you like, you can certainly purchase it from me. But I went through and tried to find different things to make an autumn sampler. You could do this for Christmas, for Valentine's Day, for summer, whatever you wanna do. Um, so the main thing is to understand the measurements for this sampler, and then you can go bigger if you wanted to make a bigger one. So we are going to use a basic beige um, background. And the nice thing about this is it's eight by eight. So you can use an eight and a half by 11 piece of uh, cardstock and just cut it down to eight by eight. And by the way, I'll have all the measurements and everything in a link below. Uh, there'll be a link for a project sheet and it will have all the instructions, pictures, measurements, all of that. But this is an easy one. You don't even have to worry about that the measurements are very easy so this is eight by eight and this will fit in that um, frame and then i have nine squares we're going to go three three and three and there's a background square and then um, these are two by two so i went with mossy meadow and uh, cajun craze and we're going to kind of do an every other one and these again, they're two by two, and am I doing this right? I have to make sure. <laughs> I kind of put them together, and we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to put them more toward the center and have more of a frame around it because the frame, um, part of it will be covered. So you just have to make sure you have that idea. And then you have nine pieces that are one and seven eighth by one and seven eighth squares. And I kind of matched up a green and then a Cajun craze. And some of this is a Calypso coral. And let me tell you the papers I'm using. So I am using, um, this is really pretty. It is called Thoughtful Designs. And the, the paper, it's one-sided and it has like a gold um, accent to it with these like branches, but the fun thing is that it's it goes from light to dark. So I cut some up here and I cut some down here. So I think this one is like Cajun Craze and Calypso Coral. So I cut the dark and the light, and then this one is Mossy Meadow and I'm not sure, and it's, is it on the back of this? Let me see, usually it's on the back, but this might be, this is a specialty paper. Oh yeah, Mossy Meadow, and there's Calypso Coral and Cajun Craze, Lost Meadow and Misty Moonlight, but must, sorry, Lost Lacuna, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Petunia Pop, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So this might be Mossy Meadow and Wild Wheat. Um, but they're really pretty. I mean, look at this. This is so pretty. I love it. So this is probably Petunia Pop and Misty Moonlight. And then I think this is the Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. So it's just a fun paper, and I thought it would be nice to just add a little background. Now we're going to put leaves on top of these. Got to make sure I have that. <laughs> Don't want to lose that paper. So again, we're going to just lay these down. Did I lose some? Here we go. And then in the middle, I have a piece of basic beige, and that's one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And I'm going to stamp a sentiment here, an autumn sentiment. So we're going to get all of these together. We're going to glue all the pieces down. So again, I have the Cajun craze with the dark and also the Cajun craze with the light. And then I have Misty Moonlight, or 
Mossy Meadow, I love our names, with the dark and Mossy Meadow with the light. And that's going to be our base. And then we're going to decorate it with leaves and sentiments and apples and pumpkins and all kinds of things. So again, I used a lot of products, uh, so you have to bear with me. But the first thing we're going to do, um, I'm going to stamp this. And I'll use Cajun Craze. You could use Mossy Meadow or Cajun Craze or whatever you're doing. And um, oh, let me open this. Let me show you the stamp sets. So I'm using... Um, the sentiment is autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. I thought that was perfect. And you really have to pay attention to how small these are. There's not a lot of room. So like this leaf is way too big, but I am using this leaf and I am using, um, some apples and pumpkins. And so this is more than autumn. This is autumn leaves. And then I'm using more than autumn dyes. We're going to um, punch out or die cut the, the pumpkin and the apple and then a basket from this. And we'll go through it all. And then the autumn leaves dies. I love these dies. These have some great leaves that we're going to stamp some, but some of them just have like an embossed piece within the die cutting. So we'll go through all of that. I'm using a piece of this um, country wood to get a barrel that we're going to use for the apples and the pumpkins. And then I'm using this beautiful Thoughtful Journey designer series paper to cut some of the leaves. And you'll see, you can cut up here and you just get some pretty leaves in all these different colors. Um, so let's get started with just stamping. We're going to stamp the sentiment. And again, this is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. And it's basic beige which is really nice. It's not white, it's not very vanilla, <laughs> and it's lighter than crumb cake, so it's uh, it's really pretty. We'll put this down here. I'm wondering if we should do a couple of leaves. I'm gonna leave it like this and we'll, um, I'm just wondering, because I didn't stamp it yet. So we're doing this, you're doing this with me. I think the leaves are all too big. So we're gonna leave it, maybe we'll put some bling on it. So we'll close this up and we'll going to put this down here. So the first thing we'll do is attach all the pieces and I'll probably speed this up because I'm just basically gluing the um, designer series paper to the mat that I've cut. And we're just gonna go through and match up the green with the green and the kind of orange with the orange so I'm going to do this, speed it up, and then we'll be back um, for the other parts. So we have all our pieces together and we could decide you know, how we want to lay them, if we want to have, um, you know, the dark up there. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of like a even, even Steven kind of person. <laughs> I like to have everything balanced and all of that. So, um, you know, just kind of play around with it, see how you like it. I guess it doesn't matter, it's here, here. I'm going to go this way. So, and then we're going to glue these down and then we'll decorate them. But I think the first thing I want to do is really get the center of this so that I have my piece in the center. To, so I'm not starting off in a, a bad way there. So again, this is eight by eight. And I'm going to just put at the four inch and then We'll do it this way. Well, that was off. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> So now I want to, oh, this is going to be covered, so it doesn't matter. I just want wanted to get kind of the, 
the point here of where this would be. All right, and you can um, pop these up if you want, but think about what you're going to do um, as embellishments if you're gonna pop them up. So you wanna just make sure you're not popped up too much. So I'm just using that as a guide. I wanna to try to make sure I'm straight across here. I'm not crooked, because I think the first piece is gonna help you um, with all the other pieces. And I am going to make them, as I said, kind of a little closer than maybe they need to be, but it gives you a nice border around here. And we're just going to, you know, glue all of these down. So one by one and try to get them lined up about the same amount of space on either side if you can. Isn't this paper so pretty though? I think on its own it's nice, but we're gonna add some leaves and things to it. I love the fall colors. And sometimes like Cajun Craze, I think I only use it in the fall. I'm not thrilled with it, but then when I use it, um, I'm like, oh yeah, that is pretty, especially with Calypso Coral. I think it's a nice combination. But see that? that that's not something I would reach for year round. And it's funny because I never liked Mossy Meadow and now I love it. It kind of grew on me. I like the, the regal colors most or neutrals. I know a lot of people like the, the brights. I like them all actually, but I'm kind of drawn to the, the regal ones. I did that one already. All right, we're getting there, almost done. Does that look about right? Hopefully I'm straight. <laughs> Sometimes when I look at it after the video is done, I'm like, wow, that was really crooked. It's, uh, it's a different perspective kind of looking down while you're working than when you stand away and, and see it fi finished. But they're handmade, right? So we get a little grace if there's a little mistake. Okay, so that's the first part of it. Second thing we're going to do is die cut some leaves from this beautiful paper. Um, we are going to stamp two of the big leaves. So let's do that first so we can get that out of the way and do all our die cutting. So I picked um, this leaf from the autumn leaves and there is a die that coordinates with it. And we are going to use, I wanted to use something kind of orangey. Um, so let's use this one. And what's nice with this is you get kind of different colors. And then we can use some of these if we want for other leaves. I did um, cut out a few leaves already. So actually I cut one of these out. So we're only going to do one. I want you to see the process, but I, I didn't want to have you uh, watch me cut out everything. So let's get this, our machine out. And we need to get the die out. And we'll do this one and then we'll do some of these other leaf dies. So this one goes here. I think I like this one. We're just going to cut the one because, again, I have the other one cut already. Make sure I'm in camera here. And we'll just put this little post-it tape on it. And we need a top plate. Put that over it. Have it go up a little bit, hanging over the front. Oops, I don't want to bend this paper. I might use it for something else. Okay, so now we have 
two of these leaves. I'm not sure where I put the other one, but we'll find it. Okay, where did I put that one? <laughs> um, we might have to die cut the other one. You're probably looking at it saying it's right there. But I think I might die cut another one because I don't know where I put it. Hmm. Okay, let's do that again. And then it will turn up because that's how it works. Um, the die, the die, the die. So let's put this here and we'll die cut this one again. Let's put these on the sampler so we know where they are. Put this aside, put this in here and that there. Okay, then we're going to do some of these smaller ones. See they have the lines in them? So you get two of these and one of these and then there's these small ones. So let's, let's see what we're going to use. I thought we would use this, and I did one of these already. This one. Uh, what did I use for that one? I guess I used this. So we're going to use this. And maybe we'll do some of these smaller ones in there too. So see this white and the green and the orange, and it's just all pretty. And I'll put the top on. And I'm just going through, and then I'm going to just go back. And it's here. And my, um, so that, see, we have this pretty kind of pinkish color and green, and then a green one here. So these are done. And let's see what this one looks like. I, I, I love to die cut with um, pattern paper. Isn't that pretty? So we have more of an orangey one. So I must have done something different here. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. And then I have a couple more of these. that I cut from other paper. And then I thought, I love this. So I cut a couple of these with this orange. So I thought they were pretty. So let's do that again. And we'll put the top on. And then we have just uh, one more thing to die cut. And I think we could put the machine away. So look at your papers, especially these kinds of papers. They really have um, kind of like a watercolor look. And it just gives you different different colors versus a just a plain old, you know, piece of cardstock. So there's little holes in the back that you can push your, um, take your pick tool through. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this one looks like the leaves, right? So we'll put these all away. I think we're done with this. So I'm going to put this aside. Oops, don't want to lose that. And then the other thing we want to do, oh, here it is. <laughs> I knew we'd find it. Um, we're going to do some apples. And let me just get it out. So there's this die for this cup. And I thought we could make a basket out of it using this wood grain paper. So let's do two of those. We'll see how it works. I don't even know. <laughs> so I'm just going to do part of it. Okay. And because it looks like it's got like a little bit of a shape to it. So, and it doesn't have to be too big. It 
doesn't look like much, but I thought we could color it to um, give it a little bit more um, details on it. So we're going to do this one about the same. put that one through and, and I do have a couple more things that we need to stamp and die cut some apples and pumpkins I did some of them but again I want to show you the whole process and um, we'll do an apple and a pumpkin so this goes in here and then there's this little apple and this little pumpkin that we're going to stamp and then die cut so let's take these out I'm going to just put this aside for a minute. We'll get the apple and the pumpkin stamp. And let's see, I have a scrap of white. It doesn't need much. And I am going to stamp it in black memento because we're going to color it. So we've got an apple and a pumpkin. And again, they're tiny. The other thing you can do is you can create a pumpkin. If you have a pumpkin stamp, you can use it. You can recreate a pumpkin by using three ovals and laying them on top of each other, but they have to be small enough to fit in these uh, little areas. So we are going to color this. Let me get my markers. I really have quite a bit of stuff here. <laughs> so we're gonna color the pumpkin with a dark pumpkin pie a Stampin' Blends marker. These are the alcohol markers. So we'll just color this and then we'll die cut them. And then I wanted to use Poppy Parade. So I'm using Dark Poppy Parade for the apple. I almost made them green, like Granny Apple Smith, but I decided the red might kind of pop off a little bit nicer. Add some other color. And then we're using a dark Granny Apple Green for this little, little leaf. And then I have, what did I bring out? The Dark Pecan Pie. I thought maybe we could touch up these a little bit. Add some, like a rim. I should have paper underneath here. And then I thought right in the middle. It's kind of my fingers in the way here. And I'm just freehanding it. So what do you think? This, let me turn it over. This, this one has the lines or this. I'm going to do this again. So, and I know I'm doing this on the, the other side, but that's okay. So I'm just going to do a thin kind of rim at the top and then a line in the middle as if it's a basket. I think it'll look, you'll get the, the idea of it once, um, once we have apples and pumpkins in it. So let's get our machine and do our last couple of things here. So we've got this little that went back in this little pumpkin and there's also a leaf in here which is cute so a little pumpkin die oops just hold that in place and then a little apple die and again I, I did a bunch of these already so just want to show you the process. Move it. <laughs> Come on. All right, so let's put the top plate on and run it through. And I think we're done with the machine for good and we can just really decorate. Let's see how these turned out. Here's a pumpkin. I'll put that back. And an apple. 
All right. So let's put this away. Let's put this away. And keep moving on. Okay, so I said I had some other little pieces here. So now we want to decorate. I thought, this is my my thought, that we would have the leaves like this. And maybe a barrel with some apples. And maybe we'll put an apple down here. And then a barrel with some pumpkins. And I'm going to start using this because my fingers don't always pick up everything. Okay. And then we can do some of these leaves. And just play around with it, get what you like. Or maybe this should be this way. I don't know, maybe just, maybe we won't use this little leaf. Come on, <laughs> I need to pick up papers. Something like that, what do you think? Do we need a pumpkin down here? Is it too balanced? I'm going with it, but um, sometimes I think I I make it too too even, Stephen. But that's me, so we're going with it. So we'll just turn them over and put everything down. I'm going to use dimensionals. I'll just take off the backings. And it's so pretty. We did go apple picking last weekend, my family. It's a family tradition that we've done. We were trying to figure it out. I think we've been going there for probably over 30 years. My kids are now with their kids. So um, I'm going to put one of these down. So we went with them when they were kids, and now they are going with their kids. So I love it. And the place is really cool. It has a, um, you can kind of tailgate there. They just opened a brewery. Um, now that you can camp there as well. So you can just hang out all day. They have picnic tables. They have porta potties And um, you can bring food in. People grill. And, you know, we always bring in food and just make a day of it. So... And it's in the mountains, you know, the, the foothills of the Catskills in New York. So, so pretty. What do you think? I like them popped up. Now the apples will probably just glue them and then pop this up. Maybe I'll put this down first. And then we'll put the apples behind it. This way we can kind of shove them down under. We didn't get any pumpkins, so we've got to get pumpkins. Okay, so let's pick up these apples, put a little glue on them. Put one there. A barrel of apples. So at this place, they have so many different kinds of apples. Like, you know, they have a couple of rows of each different um, kind of apple, which is nice. Um, and you can taste them all. You can go around and take a bite, pass it around, see what everybody likes. Maybe I'm going to put four in here. I think I have another apple somewhere because I like it sitting down on the bottom down here as well. 
So let's do that. A barrel of apples. Let's do the same thing with the pumpkins. So we'll put this down with our dimensionals and we'll put them down kind of toward the middle so we can fit the pumpkins, slide them in. This is coming out nice. I did some last year uh, for Christmas and they were fun. And I thought this year, you know, that penguin, there's penguins and there's deer that I think are so cute, the sets that we have. I don't have any nails, that's my problem. So I can't pick things up. And one more, and then we'll put one down below. Cute, cute. I'm gonna put this, the glue a little higher. <laughs> well balanced and I love this I love the um, the font let me just put the top on this because I think we might be done the font in this autumn is beautiful I think it's so pretty all right put you aside rolling around Christmas will be here before you know it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's October already. So this is really different kind of colors than everything else. I don't know if it's too different, but we're going with it. Oh, I need a little more glue. And we're almost done. Those things are everywhere. How do I want this? So kind of like this. And then a couple of glue dots or dimensionals. And then I think I will put some bling on this. I'm gonna step away and find something. I'll be right back with that. So I have these earth tone shimmer gems. These are on back water. I'm actually using them for my next class and we're gonna have to wait. Um, but you can use, depending on what you're doing, you can use whatever you want. Um, so I thought we would use these. So let's see, let's put one, come on. Okay, I feel like I need a big one there. <laughs> and maybe one more, is that too much? We'll go with it, that's my, my worst thing. <laughs> so let's clear all this stuff away and get our um, frame out. So this frame, I have everything open in the back, except for, I think, a couple of pieces. So this and this, and we're just going to pull this up, get rid of this paper, and let's see how it's going to look. This should fit right in here. before I put the back in. Oh, so pretty. I love it. So there's, you can hang it up, you know, depending on what kind of frame you have or put it in a, on a shelf. And I hope the glass isn't too shiny for you to see it when we reveal it. Isn't that pretty? I love it. 
be a nice gift to give someone. Um, I'm hoping that you're not seeing the glare. And I'm hoping when I take pictures, I might take the glass out when I take pictures. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you give it a try. You know, you can, um, it's not really like you have to <laughs> spend a lot, you know, get the frame and use what you have. I think I'm going to take that dot off because I don't like it. Um, but anyway, that was this week. Next week, this is my calendar. It just came out with the October calendar. So every Friday we do something, usually a uh, fun fold card, but this time we made the autumn sampler. We're going to make a pop out swing card next week. All right, so come back next Friday. I hope you have a great week and I hope you try this. I think it really, I think it's cute. All right, take care.